Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. We're jumping again as Eden this time and I've rolled a few times to get ourselves an interesting start. I only did actually two rerolls here. Um, we've got Lemmageddon, Brainworm to start, Ooh, and Friendly Sack in our item room. We've also got a double bomb room over here. Uh, but yeah, Friendly Sack, pretty decent. Brainworm, of course, everyone knows is good. And then Lemmageddon is just very, very nice. But yeah, Brainworm, absolutely beautiful. A little bit of weird herming. It's not it, it's not quite herming, but it kind of is. It's, it's so I would say, I don't know really what you'd call it. It's kind of pseudo herming in a way. Um, but yeah, um, in for today's question of the day, um, I was gonna ask what's something surprising that's happened to you recently, or something something interesting that you've witnessed. Um, for me, although I wouldn't exactly call it directly surprising, um, one thing that's kind of interesting: uh, me and my girlfriend have been sort of on a mission to just watch a bunch of really really terrible films. Um, and the best way that I've found to find why is Brainworm not a uh, not attacking this guy. Um, one of the absolute best ways I've found to um, to find really, really terrible films is to find a film you do like or a TV show you do like, then go through and find a, um, find someone in it that's like, kind of like D-list or lower as someone that's not in the film much, not got a lot of lines or just like isn't a super big actor. And then go onto that IMDb and find the first made-for-TV Christmas film they've done, because they are just a treasure trove. And so we found one that we're going to watch uh, shortly, which is Cloudy with a Chance of Christmas, which sounds just awful. Um, and then the other one that we did watch last night was just the worst. <laughs> it was... Oh, hello. Where the hell did you come from? Was that Friendly Sack that gave me you? Um, it was Rodeo and Juliet. Oh, God. And it was a Christmas film about a girl from the big city basically falling in love with a horse. I was a little concerned about how much love there would be between her and this horse based on the events of actual Romeo and Juliet. Luckily it wasn't quite as um wasn't quite as as close as that film the original was. So I was yeah, I was initially a little bit worried about that. Oh god. What what the hell? Oh there's a little flies in here. I didn't even see those. God, these babies are going to be very annoying, aren't they? My goodness. My goodness. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it, it was just... God, the acting was so bad. And then there was just this old guy that was like... He seemed seemingly was literally just there to be exposition and, like, nothing more. Can Brainworm, like, act appropriately, please? Brainworm's not doing a great job. We, I think we need more range to make Brainworm really pop. Mark of Thanatos. So far, this is a good run. There's a lot going on, but it's good. Oh, we've not been to the item room of this floor, have we? No, I don't think so. Good, good. Yeah, Brainworm is... is it, it's, an, it's not perfect, but it is helping. Okay, I don't like this situation we found ourselves in here. I don't even have any bombs. I'm gonna... Dude! I was trying to sneak past him when my babies goddamn killed him. Why? <laughs> Why are you this way? By the way, also, in the last episode, I did try something a little different with, um... With doing a little bit of light editing just to cut out some dead air and stuff. Um, some people expressly liked it, some people didn't. Um, I know it's different from what, what I normally do. I, I'm likely to just keep it with the full episodes with no editing. I think people on my channel like that more. Um, I don't want to change straight uh, stray too far away from that. I think that's obviously part of my channel identity and what people kind of enjoy and come to see. So I don't want to stray too far away from that, but I did want to ask like how people f felt about it and um, if I should just like just do some light editing where I cut out some of the backtracking as long as it's not like cutting out me speaking sort of stuff, uh, or if you'd want me to just kind of speed up the general pacing of the runs a little bit by using um, using like Good Trip or something. We'll take the random here. Keeper's annoying fly. I never really remember how the fly works here. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a few different things I can do to change things a little bit. I'm just trying to find ways to attract new people to the videos. And I think that um, 
in general, people have shorter attention spans nowadays. No offense if that's you that I'm talking about. Um, and therefore, it's it's a good idea to do slightly shorter episodes, which is why I kind of thought to like cut out some of the dead air. Um, and, and basically, I can do it by uh, just pausing my recording. That's kind of what I did last time. I didn't actually have to go in and do some full editing. Um, so it's not too cumbersome. And I'm, I'm sort of thinking if, it, if it's something I should do or not. I'm not sure. Wow, we absolutely memed on him. Clog is gone. We get ourselves a bit of super bandage. We don't mind that. And I will check this out, considering. Unfortunately, not the most ideal devil deal. But I will take some pills, a luck upgrade, and infestation. I will give you two hearts just in case. But I didn't, yeah, I didn't expect much from that. Ooh, actually, I will give you four hearts. Ah, you bastard. I uh, don't even soul hearts. Nah. Nah, I don't. Right, uh, item room. We did do item room. We've got to keep us annoying fly. Okay, we are good to carry on. We are good to carry on. Uh, this evening, I've got something a bit interesting going on. Um, my my f old flatmate's new boyfriend um, is in a band. Like a, I, I don't know what music type you'd call it. I'm not exactly sure, but it's... It's not screamer. It's 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 definitely not a shout. It's like it's like sort of like heavy rock. I don't know what genre you'd exactly call it. It's not exactly my genre, like I wouldn't say. But I'm going to sort of support because why not? And it, it, it could be fun. Um, I'm gonna go out for some food and stuff, so it'll, it'll be a nice trip out. But it's it's not my usual scene. I'm um I'm very much not a club person or like a night out person really. Um, like I think I think. Probably most of you that watch this will be similar to me and be a bit introverted. And I think, I, for me, I find that, like, like going out on a night out and going to clubs and stuff, it is fun. I don't completely hate it, but I have a, a very, very hard limit on how long I want to do it for. And that... Ooh, there's a cholera here as well. That limit is normally far, far, far lower than we end up being out for. Um, so I'm, I'm like, I can handle like two or three hours of it and people want to be out for like six or seven hours or longer. And it just, normally for me, it just like, I'm, I mean, I end up being there too long and I feel uncomfortable and I want to leave. But I can't leave because I'm with a group of people and it'd be rude to just walk off on my own. And it just, eh, it's, it's always been kind of like, not my favorite thing. Not my favorite thing. Um... But this is a bit different. This is just like a few hours during the day. And I get to go for some food beforehand, which will be nice as well. Gonna go for some ramen, which oh, I'm excited for. It's been a while since I've had any. And my goodness, as anyone that has ever eaten ramen will know, it's absolutely goddamn glorious. Right, we are gonna go mother here, I think. I'm just feeling mother today. Which is not a sentence I th thought I found myself saying at any point in my life, but... Isaac takes you to strange places. Isaac takes you to strange places. Like, I, I can I can imagine a situation where like two friends are like chatting about about Isaac runs, but like accidentally texting like someone that doesn't know Isaac, like a family member or like a girlfriend or something that doesn't know anything about Isaac. And my god, the responses you would get. <laughs> my goodness. The responses that you could end up getting out of that sort of shenanigans. God damn. What's what's like what what's this this is this is another question of the day for you. What's a what's a sentence in Isaac that anyone that plays Isaac will completely understand and not think is gross or not think is weird or not think is sexual or whatever. But but to anyone else would be just one of the worst sentences you could possibly say to another human being. Um I I'm very interested to know. I'm trying to think of one now. Hmm. Hmm. Like, this isn't, like, the absolute worst, but I can imagine, like, texting someone and being like, Oh, yeah, I got, um, I got C-section, and it helps me to kill Satan. <laughs> People being like, what? <laughs> that, that feels like one where it's like, yeah, if someone read that sentence, they'd be like, a C-section helped you kill Satan? Excuse me? <laughs> what did you just say? Especially if you're a guy. 
<laughs> it's even more confusing then. But yeah, there's. I feel like there's a lot of potential there for some, some tomfoolery. Right, secret room. I very highly doubt it's here, but I really want to get into the boss trap room, so I'm going to try it. Yeah. You disappoint me. Also, as well, I've, like, randomly hurt my, um, my, like, the side of my back. I think it's from running, maybe, but, like, I've got this ache, and it is just, oh, it's un- It's, like, just all the time. Oh, there's a spin-down shard there. Um, I'm willing to take the hit. Spin down shard, we love you. I can make great use out of you. I'd, uh, one of the worst things here is I've already had toothpicks, and I'm pretty sure toothpicks is like um, Sacred Heart or something, isn't it? That's a real shame. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll continue on this path for Mother, as I said. I'm down for a bit of uh, a bit of fighting Mother. Hmm. I'm trying to think of other ones now, because I feel like that's a quite an interesting question of, of, of some real potential shenanigans that could happen in Isaac off of the back of, uh, off of the back of some really potentially disgusting sentences that Isaac produces. Because there's so many things in these videos I say on a daily basis, uh, whenever I record, that just like sentences that should never come out of a human's mouth. <laughs> Dead eyes very good. Here, we've got some really good items thus far. Really good items indeed. Um, I can't even place bombs when I'm uh, when I'm feared. Would definitely like some more uh, more HP because eventually we have to trade at the door. And right now I do not feel ready for that. Oh, we got a fiend folia error there. Doesn't seem to be too bad. Keep this uh, moving. Plenty of money's coming our way at the minute, which we quite like. We've got... Uh, as, as, as the Eden we're playing us right now, do we have Magdalene's hair? We have Maggie's hair. It looks like we have Maggie hair. But as Eden. I wasn't paying attention before. So we got Curse of the Maze? Yes. I just saw some items move around on the mini-map. <laughs> so I thought it must be Maze. That's not Secret Room. That's kind of surprising. Hey, that enemy was invincible, but I just turned him into poop. That's what I prefer to do. Ooh, hello, ferryman. Um, yeah, I'm willing to go for a ferryman ride. Why not? We can try this out and see if we can get anything good from him. I mean, right now, with, uh... I think, honestly, Friendly Sack has been god tier for him. See any amount, amount of, uh... These guys, the clots we've got. We're doing way more damage because of all the clots. Wow, that was speedy. We've got to just keep these ghosties alive. The world is kind of interesting for, for... Do you know what? This floor, why not? I want to keep my spin down, so... What's going on with my clots here? They're, like, stuck behind the wall. This is not good. I don't really know what was going on there. Isaac's tomb. My clotty boys, please stay inside the room with me. Wow. Ooh, wow. Horse pill look up. Do not mind if I do, baby. That is very, very nice. Okay, we did it. Beautiful stuff. Let's see what item we get given here. We get Lost Soul. It's not the best because we'll probably end up losing it, but it's it's very thematic for this um for this event. We have to save all the little ghosts, and as as a return, we get a little ghost item. <laughs> it's kind of funny. We can try and keep him alive, and we do have some good items and like wisps and stuff to potentially keep him safe. Um, so there's there's a potential chance we can keep him, and we have Isaac's tomb for the next floor as well. We'll be getting double rewards if we keep them alive. Right. Item room, I see you. Lovely stuff. I love the way that all my little clots get the spin uh, the thingy as well, brainworm. Spin down. Ooh, spin down here is pretty good. We'll go for that. 
The butterfly gives us a smaller hitbox, gives us random uber herming tiers as well. We get blood clot there too. Got some pretty good stuff so far from our Lemmageddon book, haven't we? This has been a pretty spicy little run for me. Pretty spicy little run. But yeah, I'm actually, like, I am somewhat considering bringing Isaac back to being daily. I'm not sure yet, but basically, if, um... If the views, like, the, 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 the views that I've been getting on my, um... On my series from, like, the new thumbnails and stuff. If that kind of continues and, like, I'm still getting, like, good views, then I might go for more Isaac. Just because one one of the, I will admit, one of the big fatigues with Isaac, one of the big things and, and reasons I stopped doing it daily, is it just, I know this sounds bad because there's still plenty of people watching, but it didn't feel as worth it. Because before, when I was getting, like, a thousand views a video or more, it felt, like, really sort of rewarding to, like, put a lot of effort in and, and see that return. Whereas when I was only getting, like, 400, it just didn't feel as worthwhile, and it, and it meant that I was getting more fatigued on Isaac. Um, thank you for that. Yeah, I was getting more fatigued on Isaac than I otherwise would have been. Um, and so if, if the, uh, sort of our views keep up and we get more subs and stuff, I might return to doing Isaac a bit more often. Really? The Bible? That's what you're gonna give me, and Isaac Tomb only gave me one soul heart. This is uh, that was that was pretty pretty rough stuff there, game. That was pretty rough stuff. You gave me two potentials for absolutely beautiful stuff, and you kind of threw both of them in the trash. Little bit offensive, honestly. Little bit offensive, but I think honestly we can keep Lost Soul alive most runs here, dude. We are we are a machine right now. We are a machine. Um. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my spin down shard usage. Unfortunately, we don't have actual spin down. That would be quite beautiful. But yeah, today I just felt like doing a nice, easy breezy Eden run. I've got a few custom characters that I want to check out um, over the next coming uh, coming little bit. I've got like one that's in development that someone from my Discord has made that seems kind of interesting. A character based on Mr. Me and all, all about like throwing rocks, which sounds kind of cool. And then I also saw one in the workshop yesterday that's um, that's kind of interesting. It's like playing as a Viz. Um, so both of those seem pretty intriguing and I think I'm going to give them a go. Um, I think character showcases could be kind of fun. Um, so I want, I want to see what we can do with those. Good. Can we get rid of the big rock guy spawning bomb flies? He's, he's definitely going to get me hit at some point, isn't he? He's definitely going get to get me hit at some point. Haven't seen our item room as of yet, but we searched everywhere, so we'll be heading that way. Good, good. we're picking up loads of stuff. I mean, we've got good luck, to be fair. And chests on the daily, thank you. Some mini Isaacs there, thank you. Ares, uh, do we want to go for Ares? I mean, the speed up would be nice, but otherwise it's kind of useless. So I'm going to go with other bomb bag. Probably not much better. Dude, this Hermic's beautiful. I'm loving it. Wait, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Ah, there you go. And then you got destroyed by my little bees. Thank you. Amazing. Charged baby as well. Why not? Why not join the party, Charged Baby? Look at this. The butterfly shots are firing constantly. We've got Dead Eye in the mix as well. Okay, we got an Eternal Heart here as well somewhere. There you go. So we'll go in here and see what's what. Really? I just want to spend HP. Although Lump of Coal definitely can't turn my nose up at that. Right. That was a little bit horrible to have to... um take my damage here. By the way, I don't take the key piece. I just spawn it later on because um, the key piece thing is really laggy when you play modded. Ooh, now that. That was pretty good. Unfortunately, we got trinkets as our reward from the chest, which isn't ideal. Damn, the HP's coming in here. God damn, this is beautiful. That is a double viz that actually hit two enemies. Do you see that? It was kind of beautiful. Uh, we'll check in here. Why not? 
Rerolls all pickups in the room. Uh, two rooms always get a bit of a weird one. I guess I'll, I'll see what we get. We got some cheese. Unfortunately, cheese isn't very good, but a dime and an eternal heart. I'd say that's a pretty, pretty decent payout there. And our health is looking much, much better now. This seems like it should be an easy breezy run now. Easy breezy indeed. I don't know what that is. We got height. Uh, is I can't remember what this one is. Uh, this is the one where after they travel a certain distance to gain Herming, right? Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Didn't realize the spikes were going to retract there. I was a bit confused. Oh, and we got the crows again. These bastards. Just leave it alone. There you go. The nuclear throne crows. Who saw them and was like, yes, that's a great idea. Let's do that again. <laughs> Bad idea. Bad idea. The crows are annoying as hell. Look at this. Get down from there. But yeah, I've been quite enjoying the roster of content we got going on on YouTube at the minute. Risk of Rain seems to be doing really well. Um, Hades is still on the go, but kind of more sporadically. It's not really set schedule, so maybe there'll be Hades today. I'm not sure. I've got quite a backlog of Hades. Uh, I want to get back to playing. I haven't played it in a little while, actually. I just recorded a ton of videos before I got my new mic, just in case um, I had any time off sort of thing. Um... But yeah, I've been quite enjoying that. And then, yeah, like, just in general, I've got a nice roster of stuff. Nuclear Throne's doing well. Isaac's doing better than usual, which is nice. And the thing is, as well, even, like, the worst performing video of the new thumbnails is doing just as well as my old videos. So I have no reason at the minute to sort of go back to my older thumbnails. Even though I do like my older ones more, I've kind of said that already. These ones are clearly working. I got, like, two episodes back-to-back -back that were over a 1,000 views, which is the first... Isaac videos have had over a thousand views in quite some time, um, and that was really, really nice to see. Um, and that that also means that new people are coming in. It's definitely attracting new folk, which is kind of the whole point of this adventure. Crack that open. Nothing too special. Ah ha ha! Turning that guy into a poop was kind of amazing there. Ah, oh, you stupid brick of shit. No, my little ghosty. What What killed him? Was it that spike block? I bet it was, wasn't it? I bet it was that damn spike block. Well, that was an easy boss. <laughs> we got a angel deal, surprisingly. I don't think we've taken any devil deals. It kind of makes sense. Unfortunately, it was a stupid... Uh, Stupid active item. Can you pay out with anything? Confessionals are terrible, man. Wow. I feel so rewarded. Right. Let's keep on going. Let's give ourselves knife. Peace. There you go. Am I good to go? But yeah, I gotta say, I like my other thumbnails more, but honestly, like, the fact that these ones are working is really nice to see. And also, they just, they, they, the new ones do take less time to craft, so that does help with, with video prep and sort of my enjoyment of doing Isaac videos as a whole. Because I don't have to spend as much time doing thumbnails, which is good. And yeah, it's, it's just always nice to see that I'm, like, reaching some newer people and stuff. Stigmata, that's what we want to be doing here, really. I guess I'll have that health up pill as well. Didn't mean to take it, really, but we did. Item room. Can't remember what this other item does. Nah, we don't want that. It's an active. Hey, rune bag. We're, we're, we're backing it up at the minute. Got a few bags backlogged. Right, so let, not let my little ghost die this time. That red spike block, man, they're so annoying. Got the implosion here. 
Okay, that, that unfortunately didn't kill anything, even though it should have done. Okay, I'm gonna just guess that this is the right way. Hey, a little bit of fire rate. Puts us over the fire rate cap. Very nice to see. Slick Spade. Ooh, another great item onto the roster. Already proving to be valuable by giving us some money. Not that we need a hell of a lot of money right now, but still it's cool to see. Slick Spade early on is, is very, very nice. But later on, we get fear out of it. We can get some bleed out of it as well. It ain't bad. It's just not super necessary. I'm just beelining it for the boss at this point. Hello, boss man. How are you? God, we are killing the bosses so quickly. My goodness. It's beautiful to see. Angel deal again. And, I mean, I guess we're just going full red hearts at the minute. I will check in here. In case there's anything just stupendously good. Milkshake is pretty stupendously good. So I might take I might take Milkshake here. What does it do again? Um, 1.1 to 1.5 multiplier for all stats. There you go. Look, we got 1.5 times multiplier on our damage and 1.4 times on our fire rate. So we gained a lot out of that. I'm going to blow all this center up. Ah, he actually... His radius on that was more than I thought. But there's a golden troll bomb in here now, apparently. Great. Yeah, milkshake is pretty goddamn good. Obviously a little random, you're not always going to get as good as I got, but for the most part, it's going to be pretty good. I don't think we have dead eye anymore, so I think we have lost some damage. I am going to get some stuff back as we go through this. Hello, good sir. And uh, I think Friendly Sack will keep spawning friends for us as we go too, which is very nice of it to do so. I don't even know what the other boss was. I haven't been able to kill the pins yet. I don't even know what the other boss was. Right, let's uh let's get all of our little buddies gathered up in this corner here so we're all together. There's still some rocks in there that I didn't realise were there. They are gone now though, apparently. Ooh, there's a rune. It's a Yera. Interesting. Interesting. Not exactly sure that there's a, a reason to use it right now, but I could save it for something. Do you remember in uh, actual anti-birth where before the mother fight you got four chests with items in them? Those were the days. It's not very necessary now though. I think that was just more of an incentive back then to actually go on that the anti-birth alt path. I can't believe anti-birth actually even became like repentance. It's so wild that it got made into a real thing. What a great addition to the game, man. Repentance was just such a good DLC. Fixed so much of the game, made it so much more replayable as well. And then obviously the modding scene on Repentance is beautiful at the moment. Oh, this is so nice. That tier is like hovering and then like just herming onto them instantly. Emoji glasses. Do I want to take this Yera or do I want to take... Do you know what? Actually, Yera now. So then we've got two Soul of Isaacs and a bunch of other stuff. The golden troll bomb get me again. We've got to be nearly done here. But yeah, now we've got two Soul of Isaacs. So we can use one on the item we get for completing this. Can the face stop attracting my tears so I can hit the actual heart, please? Got to be like two or three waves off. Maybe... Oh, no. We're done. Okay. Astral Projection. I'm going to Soul of Isaac it. I'm going to do it again. Dead Onion. I think Dead Onion's probably a good take here. Uh, 
Thank you, thank you. Right. It is time. Yeah, dead onion piercing. Seems like a good idea to me. I don't think my Gurse is still alive, is he? <laughs> don't think he would have lived through Boss Rush. Caffeine pill. Lovely bit of speed increase. We like it. Okay. We're in the Herm stretch now, baby. But yeah. Considering we're at, like, guaranteed um, Mega Herming tiers now. Little cube tiers, which must be at, like, six or seven. Look, which is surprising. I thought it would have been higher than that. But I ain't complaining right now. Soul of Apollyon. Lovely stuff. Ah, 10 gins poop. I love it when it's a big enemy like that. That's a super long death animation where it's just like, nope. Just gonna turn you straight into poop. Oh, I forgot about my little guy, to be honest. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Okay. Sack room then. We've got plenty of red heart containers, but not that many red hearts lying around to, to work with here. Also, we've got emoji glasses going on at the minute, too, which is not a bad thing, actually. I think emoji glasses are a great item. They're a bit wacky. They're a bit weird, but we love those items. One item that I haven't seen in ages. I can't remember the name of it now. I think it's, um, I think it's like, rainbow milk or something. Oh, there's an item here. Um, I think it's, like, rainbow milk or something. It's from something wicked. I haven't seen it in ages, and it's a really, really, really fun um, I, uh, item that is kind of like fruitcake. I think it's called Fruit Milk, actually. Um, I, I very much want it. <laughs> I very much want it. It's been a while. I'm loving turning anything to poop right now. This is glorious. We are absolutely speeding through. Every bothersome enemy. Just gets poopified. Oop, my mini Isaacs are uh, looking a bit dodgy. God, the poison's getting to me. Too much poison. Okay. Easy. Oh, we got Spirit of Acceptance on at the minute, apparently. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and we got the Gummy Bear as well for the All Stats Up. Dude, that's so good with Milkshake. That All Stats Up becomes kind of crazy. And we're on full red health now. And we're up to 10 luck now as well. Quite a lot of bonus luck out of the back of that. Freezes all enemies, petrifies bosses for six seconds. Six seconds is a lot for a boss. I'm thinking second phase of Mother for that. We've also got bouncy tears, apparently. We've got Lumper Call in this as well. It's all going quite well. Speed's pretty high. This is just a, a good run for stats, baby. A good run for stats. We like it. We like it. Keep her moving. Don't need all the money now at this point. A lot of people ask, like, why I leave so much stuff behind. Basically, the way that I play Isaac is I play, like, reason... Like, I wouldn't say super slow, but I play a little bit slow to start with, but then the moment I realise that my run has hit the point of being able to win, I just beeline the rest of the run. I don't I don't care about min-maxing once I know that I've got the win in the bag. And obviously, nothing's guaranteed, but when you've got as many hours in Isaac as I do, like, I've got, like, 2,500 and something now, um, you kind of get a good feel for when the run's capable um, of winning. And you can just kind of then assess based on that. What, what's, what's exactly going on here? I don't much like this. I don't much like this at all. My god, that was an annoying room. <laughs> yeah, you get, you get a pretty good feel for things. And you can just kind of go like, okay, I'm ready to just... Absolutely zoom to the boss fight now. Uh, 
and as you can see, we are doing precisely that, and we are zooming. Oh god. Okay, probably gonna freeze him second phase here. Quasar Shard, I'm just gonna use, I think that does some damage to him. There you go, we've got some sticky tears here, from emoji glasses perhaps. Either way, lots is happening. There's some um, knockout drop tiers in here as well, apparently. Like, a first phase has been absolutely destroyed here. Good, good. And we'll freeze you the moment you become coherent. There you go. That, that just didn't work. <laughs> it didn't petrify anything. So good job this run's still good and I don't need it. But I expected it to work. It did not. I'm guessing it means non-end game bosses. Sadly for us. They're slowly getting closer and closer to me, big guy. Not a fan. This attack's long also. You've, you've basically killed yourself using that attack. There you go, boys and girls. We got a nice little win here. Um, lovely little Eden run just to just to start us out. And as I said, um, I'm going to be uh, doing more modded characters coming up. But if there's any other things you want me to showcase, like like I did in the previous episode with like modded item combinations and stuff, please let me know. I'm going to give them a go. And hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.